Hi, my name is Sam Curry. I'm Chief Security Officer for Cyber Reason. The Endpoint Detection and Response, or EDR, market arose because traditional markets weren't meeting the need to truly protect enterprises. That traditional market is called EPP, or Endpoint Protection for short, and what we've seen is, initially, a desire to have EDR products because EPP weren't, weren't cutting it. They just weren't doing the job. Now, we're seeing that EDR does do the job, providing enterprise-wide visibility and an ability to actually stop bad guys from a full base of endpoint-derived data. And this is, according to Gartner, merging with the EPP markets. So EDR and EPP are coming together. We call this new market EAP, or Enterprise Attack Protection. I'm proud to say that Cyber Reason provides a unified EDR and EPP product, agent, and solution. This is incredibly useful for customers and for practitioners everywhere who want to be able to stop bad guys, see the malicious operations in their environment, and enjoy all the benefits of EDR with traditional signature-based antivirus and next-generation signatureless solutions. I'm going to demonstrate CyberReason's next-generation antivirus capabilities. Right now, I'm in the malware inbox. The malware inbox is where you can find all the malware that we've detected with our next generation AV. This inbox is accessible within the same user interface you're familiar with today. As you can see here, you can easily pivot to and from the malop inbox. The malop inbox is where you'll find malicious activity that was detected by our EDR capabilities. So let's talk more about what we're seeing in the malware inbox. First, you'll see the file name, path, detection name, machine that it was identified on, detection time, and status. And you can sort the list by any of these columns so you can easily organize the detections. And to the far right here, in the case that a detected file is actually known and permitted, you can easily whitelist it directly from this dashboard. This will whitelist the file for the entire environment across all machines. And if you want to get a more in-depth view of the malware, you can easily pivot to the investigation screen. Here, you can see the signature, hash, file name, detection name, remediation status, and more. In addition, you can see the machine that the malware was identified on. And from here, you can launch an investigation into that machine to see what other activities have taken place. For example, you can see suspicious processes that are running on this machine. As you can see, with the combination of EDR and Next Generation AV, you're able to gain visibility way beyond what you'd normally get from a traditional AV solution. Thanks for watching.